Hello my lovelies, welcome back to this channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. For today's video, I wanted to do my very first Saint Laurent unboxing. I love Saint Laurent packaging. I bought a pair of the slides a few months ago and the packaging is top notch from Saint Laurent. It's just amazing. Because I bought this online, I don't have the shopping bag and the tissues, but that's perfectly fine. I really don't mind that. I have lots of packaging. So opening it up, we have a little booklet. I, I assume it's a booklet. I haven't looked at it. The inside, there's a dust bag and let's take it out. Beautiful, nice dust bag. It's the exact same dust bag as the shoes that I got. In fact, I think it came in two dust bags for the slides. So packaging is really top notch. I like the fact that they gave two dust bags for the shoes. But anyway, this is about the bag to reveal. Oh, it's upside down, but to reveal this beautiful clutch. Isn't it amazing, guys? It looks so beautiful. Officially, this is called the YSL Uptown Pouch. And a lot of us also call it the Uptown Clutch. This particular one is in this beautiful croc embossed in this beautiful dark green color with golden hardware. And the back looks like that. Very simple. Uh, really elegant. The color is so rich and oh, this is such a great neutral color because you wouldn't think that green is a neutral color but because this is such a dark green and the texture and just like the combination of the hardware it is a magnetic closure as you can see um, which I really like about it and the clutch or the pouch is really really simple it's actually quite stiff with this leather uh, the inside is just lined in a black fabric lining. The first time that I saw anybody unbox the Uptown pouch, not exactly in this combination, but just the same style, was on my friend's channel, Isabel. Uh, hi, Isabel, if you're watching. She owns two of these pouches. When I first saw it on her channel, I was intrigued, but I wasn't like, oh, I must get it, just because, I don't know, I just feel like I have a lot of black bags, and it's not like I'm saying I'm gonna stop buying black bags, but I, I, was, just, I was just kind of like waiting for maybe a combo that really spoke to me, something that's very unusual and really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I guess that was just the only reason, like, I didn't take the plunge right away, even though it was an amazing price. Even just as a travel clutch, I think it's amazing because it's so flat, it will travel so, so easily so that you can have a really nice bag that doesn't break the bank for your nice dinner out. So yeah, one of the biggest pros of this clutch is definitely the price. Uh, secondly, I think that this clutch, even though it is very simple and it's just an envelope style, it's very thin, it's super well made. I was so impressed at the quality of it. Uh, in fact, when I did order this one, I also ordered it in the black, in the grain leather. That one was actually a little bit less firm, so it's not as stiff as this one. And it actually fits a little bit more because the leather is a little bit more flexible. But I was just more attracted to this color. Just look at it. I mean, like, look at this green. It looks like a really beautiful neutral color, even though it is green. So I just thought, you know what, I just needed one. And I just kept the green one and returned the black one, even though the black one was so amazing as well. The only con that I can think of at the moment is that it is very, very flat. So you will definitely only be able to bring the bare essentials. So cell phone for sure, a lip product for sure. Uh, a slim card holder, that's fine. Uh, but the moment that you start putting keys and all these other really bulky things, it gets, uh, the magnet doesn't close as well because on this stiffer version especially, uh, it just doesn't accommodate as much. With the other leather, you can accommodate like the keys a little bit better and it will close really well and it will look pretty flat, it doesn't bulge out in a weird way either but the look of this leather just really, really drew me to it. And plus the color is just so rich. Monochromatic outfits will work super well with this clutch, uh, especially all black or all white outfits. It's a beautiful magnetic closure. And then the back is just straightforward, same leather. The sides are glazed, but it's beautifully glazed. And um, the only moving part is really just here where it folds. I feel like it will be fine though, just because this is not a bag that I will be wearing all the time. 
Um, like I said, it's just an occasional bag, but it's just one of those that's really, really, uh, really fancy looking that doesn't break the bank necessarily for a luxury item. And also, it's just one of those that you can rely on it for, for having a really fancy night out. You can definitely uh, take this and it will look way more expensive than it actually is. Let's just go ahead and fit in the phone. All right, no problem there. Um, I will also put my card holder, so that's like my ID, a bit of cash, and a Visa card. And I will also put that right in there, right beside the phone. So, so far it obviously closes, but even with the magnet, you can hear that it's like not as strong anymore. But that's just because there's stuff inside. Most likely you'll have a lip product. Here I have a little lip balm from Burt Bees. And I'll just put it on the side. So there you have it over there. You might have car keys. Car keys there on the side. Everything is still closing flat and really, really beautifully. I've added my keys, the six key holder, as well as my floss, and I'll open to show you. I had to rearrange it though. The house keys are on this side, the six key holder, and then my car keys, lip balm, and my floss are sitting on top of my phone and my card holder. And it, because it is a lot thicker now, the magnet is not as strong, like you can't really hear it as much. But it will close shut and um, it is still really really flat and it's really comfortable to hold. It doesn't feel heavy or anything. I think because of the shape and the length of the item and the fact that it's really thin on the bottom, it actually uh, feels really comfortable when I hold it. But this is probably the max that I'll go. In fact, I'll probably even remove the smaller things on top. I just don't like them floating around that much. Most likely, if I'm going out on a night out, uh, I'll be with my husband, so I probably don't need to bring my house keys. So I highly recommend this clutch. It is such a beautiful clutch or pouch. And I imagine you can use it for anything, not just for nights out. If you have a use for a flat pouch like this for documents or I don't know if you somehow like to carry clutches instead of actual bags. I think this is an excellent one for the evening because it looks so fancy and beautiful. I love the minimal hardware but it still pops especially with this beautiful shiny croc. Um, embossed leather and this color is just so amazing. Obviously, it's not dirt cheap But it's such a good price for a luxury item Something that you can use for the evening something that you don't Necessarily have in your wardrobe because I think a lot of us especially nowadays uh, modern days we're used to dressing casual, but if you've always felt that you're missing something a little bit more elegant for the nighttime, for weddings, or for like really fancier events, and you feel like none of the items, none of the bags on your collection really is suitable enough, I think something like this is amazing. You can easily tuck this inside a tote as well, so if you wanted to bring more things, but Obviously, this only fits essentials, so you can obviously tuck this inside a tote. It's super thin. And if you're wondering, I am wearing a brand new dress. Um, I already unboxed, I, I, I already revealed the white version of this dress. Uh, but obviously, I bought the black one as well. So um, yeah, I love this dress so much that I bought it in two colors. Uh, this is a beautiful ruffle detail dress. So like the sleeve on this side is a ruffle and it has beautiful um, beading. This is by Self Portrait. I'll also link it down below. I'll go ahead and do some modeling shots now, but before I go, I just want to thank you for joining me today. And if you are not subscribed yet, I really do hope that you subscribe to my channel, join my YouTube family, and give me a like and comment down below, especially with likes nowadays with the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out, so I would really appreciate it if you do. And uh, have a great day or week ahead of you and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!